Hi, my name is Mitch McLeod, and I am the writer and director of the short film Birthday Girl and the upcoming feature horror film Silhouettes. And I'm Mark Rouse, and uh, I do some stuff on his stuff. So now I'm a, I'm a director of photography, uh, editor, color corrector, kind of all around post production, uh, anything from visuals to sound, uh, I cover that. But I also am a writer and director as well. So welcome to the video. For me personally, the first thing I look for is a character in the face. Um, if I can sense that the uh, actor that's presenting um, just from their headshot, uh, if I can sense that there's some character behind the eyes and some life behind the eyes, uh, that'll I'll gravitate to the. If I'm got a stack of 50 headshots in front of me that I got to go through, or even 100 or 200, uh, the first thing I do is go through and see which ones kind of just grab me uh, initially. It's a gut feeling kind of thing and that has rarely failed me. Um, I've been able to uh, cast pretty well based off of that. Like one of the, one of the biggest, I think, reasons I cast uh, my, my lead actor for this upcoming film was because he did have that something going on behind his eyes and this wasn't coming off of a headshot, this was just coming from seeing a couple of things that he had done um, on, in film and then me getting to know the guy, but um, you know, not really, not really reading him for this role or anything like that, just looking in those eyes, I, I had a sense that he probably, you know, was going to be able to come in and do exactly what I needed him to. And uh, like he said, you're, you're sometimes looking through, you know, 100, 200 headshots, and, you know, most of them look the same for whatever reason. There's just that something that pops uh, when you come across one. And I think that when you get that feeling, it's undeniable and you have to at least explore it some. A lot of times actors probably believe that they should just um, go and get their headshots done and that they can just look straight ahead like this, you know, putting no emotion, no character into it because uh, maybe they're just being cast off of looks or what have you. But I think that as an actor, when you're going to get your headshots done, you should kind of have a character in mind. Uh, you should have an emotion that you are uh, aiming to present because that is going to come through. That is going to make you stand out um, among the, you know, 200 other headshots that didn't do that. You're just going to catch probably a casting director's eye pretty quickly if you manage to bring that to the table. You're going to need to work with them. Uh, don't expect them to do everything. Um, you're going to have to, you know, find out what makes you you and convey that to your photographer so that they, you know, they can pull that out of you. Uh, I've Go get your headshot. Don't just expect to, you know, sit there and go and, you know, be a blank slate. Bring something to the table yourself. Work with the photographer. Don't just sit passively and let, you know, them take your picture. Working with a photographer, that's going to be, uh, you know, equal parts responsibility. You're going to take some responsibility there. He's going to take some responsibility there. Um, you have to, I think that you have to know as an actor, um, like most actors I know, they, they have that idea in their head of, what kind of roles they really like to play. And of course, you're not going to just be taking on those roles, but you kind of have an idea, um, just like any other you know, sort of art form, uh, of what you want to present and what you want to say um, with your craft. And so I think that as an actor, you as the actor uh, should probably go in there having something in mind too, because it is, I think, up to the actor to come in and present something that they want to be seen. So when you're going in to get headshots taken, when you're going to get your image captured, uh, and, and put on uh, photographs, then yes, what is it that you want to show? What is it that you want a casting director to see? What is it that makes you stand out uh, more than, than this person or this person or this person? When oftentimes a uh, casting director is you know, looking at you know, photos of five to 10 people who all look similar, what makes you stand out? And I think that that's something that uh, you don't just figure out when you're there getting the photos taken. It's something that you should probably put a lot of time and effort into considering before you show up. Well, I'd say that it's probably important that you change your headshot uh, maybe once a year, uh, probably at the very least once every two years. Cynthia Pictures is basically the one right now um, where you can find any promoting uh, of what we have going on and what we've done in the past. You can go to facebook.com slash Pictures and that'll take you to our official page. And uh, you can get all sorts of information, uh, including, you know, you can just check out our cast. We have a phenomenal cast on this, an amazing crew behind us. Um, some of the best people in front of and behind the camera that you could find 
in this local area are, are working on this project. So we're very excited. So you can get some information. You can follow our, our crowdfunding campaign, uh, which is going on right now till January, till early January. We begin production uh, January 27th. Uh, so up until early January, we will have a crowdfunding campaign that will be going live where if you uh, see something here that you like, you see something on the page that you like, uh, then you can hop on over to the campaign and either donate or uh, perhaps even more importantly, you know, help us spread the word so that others will. we're ready for you. You are the most talented person in the world. If you never use your skills, how are you gonna make the impact that you wanna make? Listen, actors, models, even singers, they don't even realize that their headshots could be the very reason they're not booking those jobs. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you we've seen it all, duck lips, Photos too dark, where we can't make out the face, we can go on for days. And listen, when I tell you, selfies, they're not headshots. <laughs> Duck lips, they're not gonna book you that gig. Let us help you make the best first impression. Join our community now at zollycreate.com. If you're an actor, singer, dancer, writer, you need a headshot. Create your profile now, and we'll see you soon. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for checking out our mini film. We want to invite you to the Zali community. Zali is not just for writers or actors or musicians. Zali is for all artists. As you know, creating a film takes a village. And we want to invite you to our village as we create films to promote you and promote your artwork and growing your craft. So join our community. Uh, make sure you like our Facebook, our Instagram, uh, and also visit, visit our website at zalicreate.com. We look forward to connecting with you. See you soon.